Mirgoloth, and uh, this is Mirgoloth Builds, and today in this episode I'm going to be doing some mining. I know I've said previously I won't be doing a lot of mining on camera, but this episode I am, just to switch things around a bit. And before I do that, we're going to harvest these crops real quick. So this is the third or fourth crop rotation, I'm not sure which. Uh, it's one of those. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this iron right here, right now. But the cave we're going to check out is just right over here. And uh, generally the reason why I don't really want to do a lot of mining in uh, these videos is because for me when I watch other people's let's plays one of the most irritating things for me personally is watching them mine because oh dang it right into the uh darkness here. But, uh, I don't like watching them mine because I just don't like the way people mine. Usually it's, I have my way of mining and when I see other people do it another way, I just dislike it. And also, typically, mining videos tend to, uh, take up like four or five episodes in a let's play and you know after a whole week of them uploading videos of them and one mining session it's just not interesting it gets very stale so I'm just gonna be doing mining today so once I get to the length of this episode I'll stop recording but we'll keep on mining and how I was talking about how I usually mine that's different than other people is that when I see a resource I want, I take it right away. Other people, uh, that a lot of uh, Let's Plays I've watched in the past, like uh, Coast Quest, that's what I watched a lot before I even was able to play Minecraft. I really hate how he mines where he'll explore the entire cave system first and try to light it up. And he, he usually, he, you know, because he wants to be safe, but he misses so much iron because of that, because he forgets where it is, because caves are confusing. So my policy about mining is, mine it when I see it. Just don't give myself a chance to forget. And I also put torches on the right hand side, so in case I get lost, I just follow the wall of torches. And I might occasionally miss something, but usually if I notice it, I go and mine it right away. Sometimes there's exceptions if I see a bunch of mobs in a very dark area and I go secure that area first, but I don't explore the entire cave system before I start mining things. See, there's some iron right there. I'll put that there. This here. Then I'll start to mine. I don't really think I'm going to get too far in this cave while recording this because uh, because the way I mine I grab everything first so I'm probably going to be in this little area here for half this video but as far as uh, to keep this interesting for people who watch this for the city building my plans as of yet for the existing buildings and buildings to come is I've got a bit of glass. I uh, cooked a little bit that I mined or cooked a bit of sand that I got while making the road. Didn't have too much but now I have 19 glass blocks which I'm sure I have enough to use to at least give the mayor house proper windows. But uh, 
after I'm done mining here, I'm going to go get more sand by digging out that's in the town center area that I want to make. Oh, there's some coal over there. Don't want to miss that. Oh, and iron on the ceiling. And also, I kind of wanted to, uh, I've been thinking about street lights for alongside the road, the roads in the town. And typically, I would use, you know, glowstone. That's a pretty common thing for people to use, but I don't have a uh, nether portal yet. I actually want to put off building one because I intend to, as part of this, <coughs> excuse me, as part of this city building uh, series, I want to make a sort of different kind of city, sort of like based around this whole cult idea where people are some kind of cult organization that worship the nether. So I'm going to wait, put off building any nether portals until I start working on that area. Which could be a while, but you know, you don't really need anything that's in the nether. All the, you know, all that's in there is nether rack, and you don't need that to make any of the blocks that are used really in building. Oh, should eat. And there was more coal and iron over here. Yeah, see, I'm probably not gonna. I'll put this aside so I can repair it later. I'm probably uh, not gonna get too far, but uh, so the next couple of things I'm gonna build as well are some houses right next to the mayor's house. And then once I've built those, I gotta make more roads to plan out and map residential areas and so that will require more roads so the whole road system I think I'm gonna build as I go because I'd have to do quite a substantial amount of mining in the quarry to get enough cobblestone to completely uh, make the road system that will end up being this town of Mirgloff. I mean I could but I don't exactly have too much time to do that all at once, and that would mean putting off making a video for the day to do that. And I'm going to deal with this water right now. But those are the immediate plans. Kind of also, now that I've uh, gotten rid of, uh, I don't think I pointed it out at the beginning of this video, but my old cave that I my starter cave, I've completely erased or, well, filled in with dirt. And so, given that, I think I should relocate my farm eventually and build a farmer's house for the city or town of Mirgloff. It's not really high in the priorities. I've still got to get the town center and uh, glass good supply of glass is what I really need. But I decided to uh, do some mining before I did that. Oop. What? <laughs> Jerk. And... I think I'll kill this guy here. And get this iron. After I get this iron, you've probably watched me mine enough. But uh, I wanted to show you guys that this is how I mine. Because I have not really shown myself mining as of yet. And it's, it's really not missing anything, but it's just a thing so that you guys can see. It's, it's there. Otherwise, you know. Hey, you never mind. I do mind, but it's off camera is when I mine. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, it's sort of a combination of me mining and a update on the priorities of this city building let's play. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and thank you.